All right, what is up, guys? We are back with the Promised Neverland, Chapter 58. Um, I'm on this first page, and I guess, I'm guessing all these, these are, like, nicknames that, um, like, we're calling him Guy With No no Name, right? Like, this is his nicknames for all the kids, so Emma's Antenna, Ray is Sleepy Cyclops, Cyclops Beanhead, uh, Prissy Four Eyes, Curry Chow, Pizza Topping, Pizza Topping, how does he look like a, <sighs> I'm trying to think, like, yeah, I can definitely see the other guy, how he's Curry Chow, but Pizza Topping, I don't really see that for the other kid, anyway, nose, yeah, that guy has, like, a weirdly, almost realistic nose, <laughs> uh, sorry, so nose, alright, that's it, I guess, <laughs> Um, this sucks. He's bullying all of us. That man doesn't want to learn our names. He's so stubborn about it. By the way, Nat, why are you looking so proud? Because my elegant nose line has been recognized. Um, not only is he refusing to learn our names, he's not telling his, telling his own name either. He's dead set on that point, too. <laughs> he probably doesn't want to grow close to us, I mean. He must figure it's better to remain detached. Uh, chapter 58, Decision. Rejection, what lurks behind this shadow. I just want to say how underrated Neverland's cover pages are. This is such a cool cover page. Um, like, all the kids are, like, dummies, and they have, like, tags on them, and he's just, like, at the dinner table, and I don't know. It looks really, really cool. <laughs> um, alright, so repeat after me. Take care of the rooms, take care of the rooms. Stay out of my sight, stay out of your sight. Don't even walk around to begin with. And don't walk around to begin with. If you lose something, put it back where you found it. Back where we found it. Break any rules and you die. Uh, <laughs> she smash. What is she doing with that cup? Did she smash it against the wall or something? Uh, I think I get what to do now. It's not just uh, this switch that makes him vulnerable. The entire shelter shelter is full of extortion material. Thanks for that report, Alicia. Wait, Ray, what sort of dangerous experiments are you making the poor girl do? You too, Alicia. <laughs> no problem, I won't do it again. Uh, after all, everything is important to that man. It's not as if he's not listening. It's a bummer that we can't explore the rooms. And he yells at us to go away and, get, and gave us these funny nicknames, but we kept asking his name and he got so angry. Oh, you stay away from him. Oh, I really like how the kids are being used, like... Just trying to figure out, like, more of his weaknesses and stuff like that. I think it's really cool. Um, anyway, we managed to drag that man along with us for the Minerva excursion. The rescue and the escape. We must accomplish both of those goals within two years. Because if we bring all the kids from Gracefield here, this shelter will simply be over capacity. Um, we have to secure a means of escaping this world as soon as possible and complete both the rescue and the escape within two years. And we are not even sure Minerva will be there. We can't afford to play around and waste time. Without that man's experience, we got uh, we got no hands to play. He's absolutely necessary to our goals. And also, that man is a human being like us, and somehow he managed to go outside and survive for 13 years. With us going so close together, I'm sure that our chances to learn how he does we, I'm sure there will be chances to learn how he does it. However, you look at it going. Out with him is a necessary step, and we've managed that much. I feel a bit relieved, but we are still worried about this. And when we say until we meet Mr. Minerva, well, will that man even listen to us? It's not like he couldn't kill us if he wanted to. It's uh, totally possible that he'd just say yes, but wait and watch for a chance to kill us, right? Preferably like when you all, when you all go to sleep, right? Um, probably. It's natural that he think that that he would think that way, to be honest. He might just be looking to put disgusting, shitty kids like us out, out into danger. Um, and that's fine. Our first priority was just to get him to make him come with us. At the moment, there's no other way for us to push that man into action. As of yet, we don't know what the guy's true motives are, so... Like what he's thinking, or what motivates him, or what kind of person he is. Uh, we are about to start a game of Gathering Intelligence. He's playing the game just like we are. That's the kind of journey we're on. I just wish we didn't have to resort to this cloak and dagger stuff. And could just help each other. He's an escapee just like us. He's the one that pointed his gun at us. Refusing to tell us anything. That's true. Um, 
We leave four days from now. Um, you've got until then to prepare. He's even rushing our departure from here. We've got three days to read and prepare. On the fourth day, we aim for AO863. So it's curious. I mean, it, it's interesting that he's rushing their departure. Why, though? <clears throat> like, is he just like, he just wants to get all this over with, I'm guessing? Or, I don't know. It's weird. All right, so one day until departure. Oh, he's back in that room. Hey, what's a poacher, mister? Stay out of my sight and quit wandering around. I really like that look on his face. It's it's like, he's like actually like, like serious, but like, you know, not in the like, I'm going to kill you way or just like the goofy way that he's kind of been acting like the get out of my sight and stuff like that. Like this is like, this face that he has on actually shows like, like something, there's something more to him maybe, and that like something tragic happened, and he actually looks like, like genuinely sad about this. Whenever he goes in this room, you know what I mean. Like, I don't know. He he just has like a different look to him in this panel. Um, I'm not in your sight. Besides, I need to ask you things before we leave. What's a poacher? How far have you gone, Mister? Have you ever made it to A O eight sixty three? And why did you stop looking? And why did you annihilate them all? It's the question I want to know the most. But don't feel like talking about it. It's all a secret. You guys are a good little family. And I hate good little families. Eyesores. Disgusting. I want you lot to get lost right now. Do you even know what it feels like? Re realizing that just one choice can throw everything off the rails. The terror of seeing your ideals, your choices kill your friends. Um, we will all live in the human world together. Was that choice really the right one? It's not all pointless. There's no way it can be pointless, huh? I can't wait. Will you still be able to spout pretty words like those at the end of this journey, I wonder? Follow me. Bring Sleepyhead, too. Hey, wait. So that makes me curious. Has he actually made it to um, the human side before? And he had to make a choice that resulted in all of his friends dying? And that's... Kind of why he's like, kind of like this, you know? I don't know. Uh, Alright, so he's got an umbrella. Oh, okay, he opened a secret door. This is our final preparation before we are off. Time to go find Minerva in hell. Oh, shit. Uh, now into the abyss of despair. Interesting. God, so I, I just can't like imagine Emma... I can see Ray with a gun, but I can't imagine Emma with a gun. Um, Alright, so he... I'm guessing he's been to AO8. Uh, what was it? 63, right? Uh, yeah, AO8, 63. I'm guessing he's been there before if he's calling it hell. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so obviously just my thing is that he's been there before. He's been to the human side <clears throat> before. And he had to make a decision that ultimately resulted having all the people that was dear to him die, you know what I mean? And he resents probably Minerva and the human side for probably making him have to come to that decision, you know what I mean? Um, so maybe that's why there's like some resentment towards... Minerva and other humans for him, I guess. Um, I don't know. But it's really interesting, man. Like, it, it at least makes me curious to see, like, what is this guy's full story, you know? Um, and then, just also the fact that, like, <clears throat> this guy has been, like, kind of, like, goofy, like, this whole time. But, like, just this last couple pages, like, he just, he's just, like, strictly business these last couple pages, you know what I mean? So... I kind of I like that change, so, um, yeah, for him, this is, like, this is actually something serious, you know, so, um, yeah, I don't know, that's, that's pretty much it for the reaction, guys, thank you guys for watching, and, um, I'll see you guys next week, peace.